Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I have the opportunity to have four different Cummins ISX engines. One that is mounted, two and three that are outside. Um, and I want to take advantage of this opportunity to talk about Cummins. Most of you are afraid of Cummins because many different reasons and most of you also are going to be uh, happy with Cummins ISX engines or X15s which is pretty similar, it's the updated version of Cummins ISX. So the problem that we have on these three engines right here is that all these three engines have one thing in common, they all have crankshaft problems. What is then the crankshaft uh, and the bearing spoon at the same time and that causes then the engine didn't rotate anymore and the engine is gone. These three engines have the same problem. They all want to need similar repairs. In the case of that one that is mounted on that truck, that one has broken cylinder heads and this is uh, an issue because engine cannot run. See, these are the broken cylinder heads, I mean bolts. Uh, you can see how it is broken, the, the bolt is broken. So, uh, basically, these are common problems for Cummins ISX engines. So, you probably wonder what could be the problem that you want to get if you get a Cummins ISX engine. Well, a very common problem is that then the crunch has suffered a damage. After many years of use, Cummins ISX tend to have problems with bearings. And if you don't replace it on time, you're gonna get this issue. Especially after 400, 500,000 miles, it's very most likely that you're gonna get this problem because Cummins ISX uses a very low pressure fuel, uh, oil uh, system um, and this is very weak. And since the pressure is very low, between 15 to 40, there is a very small gap where the pressure can drop and then the engine can get destroyed. That is something that you know is going to affect all of you at some point. So to prevent that, all you have to do is to replace all the main bearings around 500,000 miles, especially in Cummins ISX from 2012 and up. Those are the ones that suffer this damage the most. Um, other common problem will be broken cylinder head, I mean bolts, I'm sorry. Second, broken cylinder head bolts, that will be another common problem. And also, many of my other videos, I did another common problem that is broken cylinder heads. In this case, the cylinder head cracks from the bottom. As you can see in many of my other videos, then I show how the cylinder head breaks from the bottom where it sits on the cylinder block. So, um, Cummins ISX is an engine that is very powerful, but at the same time, it is weak. Uh, it is not um, exempt for problems, it actually has very expensive problems, but it can be prevent if you do the try repairs. If you delete your DPF system, it's possible that you wanna you're gonna get broken cylinder head. If you don't do bearing some time, it's possible that you're gonna get problems with your crankshaft. EGR cooler is another problem, goes bad, start leaking coolant inside the combustion chamber. A broken cylinder head bolts is something that is bad, it is how we can say it. it is hard to know when that is going to happen because there is no way to know when a cylinder head bolt is going to break unless you remove it on time but if you remove it on time probably it's going to break without warning so uh, if you're planning to buy a Cummins ISX engine or X15 engine you be aware that you probably want to present some of these problems that you are seeing right now on these engines. That doesn't mean that you are going to get them. Just have that clear. Then just because these three engines, these 
four engines right here, they have all problems. Doesn't mean that the truck that you are going to buy is going to have the same problem. They are all going to vary depending on how they were treated at the beginning when they were brand new. So uh, that is going to change on how it is going to be the type of repairs that they're going to need in the future. 2016 Cummins um, engines and up, they're a little better than the old ones, 2012 to 2015. But that doesn't mean that they are not going to have any problems. Problems are going to be very similar, just in a different level, then are going to last a little longer. Science Cummins uses very similar technology, since the Cummins ISX is a very old platform engine. So they still carry that engine from 2001, 2000s, and all the way to 2021. Then we are similar platform. It is not exactly the same engine because it has many different modifications, but the basis of the engine is the same. And that is the reason they carry the problems from the original coming side effect engine. They are they were low pressure, damage bearings, and stuff like that. They carry that all the way to the newer engines because the engineering of the engine is pretty much the same up to right now. I will I, I will say the coming side effect engine is going to be a good engine from. Wow, zero miles to 500,000 miles. After 500,000 miles, you're probably going to expect different problems. So it, it, it will be normal. Almost every truck after 500,000 miles is going to have problems. But if it's going to have major problems of engine, internal components, engine problems, it's going to be very expensive. So um, this is something as an owner that you have to keep on mind. But uh, you guys, as owners of, of Cummins ISX engines, you can actually leave the comments below because you are going to give the best opinions um, about your ownership with a Cummins ISX engine. I, I, I already saw many different Cummins ISX engines and they're all having different issues. And as we can see, three different ones, they are having the same problem. And we have a different one here, they're having a different issue, but it, it I did a video before with the same issue in two different Cummins ISX engines before, then had broken cylinder head bolts in the past. You can check my channel and you're gonna see that video. So uh, that is going to show you what could be the common problems on Cummins ISX engines. And today I have the opportunity to talk about these and have different engines so I can show you Then I am not trying to sell something to you. I'm just trying to explain then this is the reality for these engines. And whoever says then it is not, well, it's definitely then that doesn't, ha it hasn't has happened to that person. But eventually it will happen because all engines are going to have the same problems. It is just a matter of time when it's going to happen. So uh, I, I hope this video is informative enough for all of you. I'll try to make it as short as possible just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Then Cummins ISX is an engine, then it's gonna have problems. And if you buy a Cummins ISX thinking then you are not going to get any problems, well, I mean, hopefully not. And especially if uh, you get in 2012, 2011, those engines are not the best. But if you get in 2016 and up, it's a little better, but doesn't mean that it's completely exempt from problems. So use the comment section below. There you can leave all the opinions, questions, or anything about this uh, specific topic that is common problems on common ISX engines. And uh, you can contact me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can see me there, uh, ask me anything. Uh, just have a little patience at the moment of answering your questions. You can check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel so I can continue doing helpful videos for all of you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Share it. And thank you for watching.